Okay, you guys, we just got a package in the mail to review and we do not want to wait another day for it to be daylight or to be outside or anything. What did we get? We get a duck. A jumper. Yeah, we got a jumper. So we're going to set this up right now and kind of just give you guys a little glimpse at Aubrey's first time using it. And then I will give you a more detailed explanation of like what we're doing. So we got some steaks for the outside. <laughs> Are you so excited? Yeah, there's a steak. Yeah. Delicious. So I'm guessing this is the bouncer and then what's in that styrofoam thing must be the uh, the pump. The blower. Yeah. This is like a smaller little air jump. What do you guys call it? An air jump, a moon bounce, a jumper. I always called it an air jump growing up, but let me know what you guys call it down in the comments. This is, I believe, six feet by nine feet. It has a little slide and it will be perfect for little Aubrey. Gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, it's blown up. Aubrey, what do you think? It's fun. All right, actually, you have gum in your mouth. Spit out your gum. Thank you. Get those papers. Go climb up. Thank you. Hey, jump. Okay, go back up there. This is gonna be a great way to get the energy out after dinner and before bed for sure. <laughs> Hurtful. That would be a bad choice. You're going to give me a kiss? Here. Kiss. All right. <laughs> okay, but we need to be careful. Aubrey, look at mommy. Look at mommy. When we get out of here, we sit down and we slide down. Okay. There you go. 
there you go. That's a good choice. <laughs> you having fun? Oh, I guess we gotta take it down. Yes. I have fun, mommy. Okay. What did you say? Are you all done? All right. So Daddy turned it off. And here we go. It's coming down. We're going to pack it up and we're going to play with it later, okay? Are you going to get all the air out? <laughs> Was that a lot of fun? Okay, this is Juan trying to get the air out. I'm trying to hide from the camera. Aubrey, can you help Daddy get the air out? Yes. Okay. Yes. Say, get out, air. I'm not sure how we're gonna get that in there, but we're gonna try. Well, it was, it was able to be done, you guys. Okay, so that was a whole lot of fun. Aubrey had a blast. Obviously, exiting and entering, more exiting, can be a struggle if they are too excited. And she kind of plopped out a couple times. But I think, obviously, landing on grass will be a little bit more comfortable if that happens again. I will check in and show you guys kind of like everything Juan did to set this up the next time we use it. So just hold tight. Okay, guys, we are having our family over today. We're going to have couple little girls now under you know the age limit I think it's like four or five for this thing they say maybe having like five four-year-olds or something totaling under 200 pounds is good for this air jump so I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy up I do have a tarp that did not come with the bouncer we're gonna put this on the grass just to kind of protect the plastic of the bouncer in examining the plastic of the bouncer it's not obviously as like sturdy as one of those huge blow up ones that you would maybe rent from someone who actually rents out these things that are ginormous. Um, so it's obviously not like durable enough for me to jump on it and all of that stuff. It is a nice strong plastic. It's not super weak, but it's not like ultra super duty, you know, store rental type of grade. So we want to protect that and therefore I'm using the tarp underneath it just in case there's like sharp twigs or something underneath uh, in our grass. I'm also bringing out an extension cord because the cord on our pump is not long enough to reach our outlet on the house and where I want to put it on the grass. So those are the two things that I am providing, but otherwise let's get this guy set up. Okay, so here I have just tied this little thing around the nozzle where all the air is gonna come out. And I'm gonna stretch this out so it's nice and straight and then plug this in and let this guy inflate. Now, as I'm undoing this, 
I do think it's worth noting that we used it the other night uh, from the last time I used it. We've used it again at least once. Aubrey loves this thing. I wish I would have recorded her face as I was like blowing it up instead of actually like filming the inflation process because she was just like, <gasps> you know, like she was just so excited. And so I'm like bummed I missed that. I should have got her reaction rather than filming it the inflation because I could have easily done that again later. So that's worth noting. And the other thing was this inflates in like 40 seconds. We timed it and in under a minute, it was like 40 seconds, I think exactly. So it doesn't take long to inflate and it is so worth it. Aubrey's been like getting good exercise on it. She's been sweating up a storm and going to bed a little bit easier when we use it late at night. All right, but this thing's finally untangled or unspun. Let's go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you guys how to turn this thing on. So this guy is plugged in and all we gotta do is press this button. Is your head spinning too? Now that this is turned on, I'm gonna just kind of readjust it on the tarp and then use the little yellow pegs that it gave me and secure this into the grass. So in case you need it, they do provide some extra netting if there's like a patch and then they have like a bunch of the different colors here if any of like the red, yellow, or blue pieces get broken. And you know, actually feeling the two different blue pieces, this one's a lot thicker than this one. So probably the uh, plastic on the bottom is a little bit stronger and maybe I didn't need a tarp, but hey, it's worth the extra protection. So I went ahead and shut it off uh, just because the kids haven't arrived yet and I don't want it running the whole time, especially when I'm talking to you guys. But I love this thing. I'm so happy that we were able to collaborate with the makers of this product. I'd like to thank them for giving this to us and allowing us to review it. I have had no issues um, except for Aubrey like wanting to jump off the slide portion, but that's all on me and her and nothing regarding the actual product. Um, I think if I were to add something, it might be like a little bit of like a door netting thing to make the entry and exit a little bit smaller, but the slide is fun. So, I mean, it's kind of like give and take. You either, you know, sacrifice a little bit of fun for more protection. So it kind of, you know, you have to weigh your options there. But I'm so excited that we have this and that we can use it pretty much whenever we need Aubrey to get her energy out and it will be fun when Jack is here as well. I will make sure to put all of the information for this product down below in the description box if you guys wanna pick up one for yourself. Like I said, I'm very pleased. I would go ahead and probably buy this if we were still looking around and in the market for one. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.